Hello, everyone, again, and welcome to the new folks that have just joined us. Caro, Philip, uh, Demo, R. Barry, and others. This is Online Trader Central. We'll be starting promptly in just three minutes. Three minutes start time, everyone, here at Online Trader Central. Your host, presenter, Melissa Armo with thestockforce.com. is here with, us, here with us today. We have a, a bunch of folks that are uh, already registered, and we have uh, they're still banging the server. There's more people are registering as we speak. Start time now in just two minutes. Two minutes start time here at Online Trader Central. Thank you, everyone, again, and welcome. This is Kevin 24-7. I'll post my contact number for you there. If you have any questions about Hotcom or Online Trader Central, please give me a shout. But if you have any questions about trading, you want to contact the good folks at thestockswish.com. And again, uh, the host of presenter today, Melissa Armo, is presenting in just two minutes. Start time, two minutes here at Online Trader Central. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Hello, everyone, and welcome. It is now exactly 4.30. Please put your hands together and welcome our host presenter today from the Stockswish.com. Please welcome Stockswish CEO and founder. Please welcome Melissa Armal. Thank you so much, Kevin, and welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Armo, and yes, I own a company called the Stockswish LLC. Today is very exciting because we're going to talk about making $100,000 a year trading gaps. And as I speak, I just was looking at a gap that's happening live right now at 4.31 Eastern Time in Netflix, a gap that I actually called to gap in the direction of the gap. So when we're done here today, I can review Netflix and we can all go over to my live training room because we're going to not have time in the one hour today, but if you want to stay to the end. Uh, I'll have Kathy send us all to my trading room and we can review Netflix um, and the gap that's happening live right now in Netflix, which, which I called. And so today you're going to learn about gaps. I consider myself a gap expert, so much so that I'm now calling gaps before they even gap. And this is one of the exciting things about when you learn how to trade gaps is you can predict price movements in the moment and as they're happening in the gap. If you'd like more information, you can feel free to go to my website, www.thestockswish.com. Kathy will put the information there in the room. And you can also email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And go to any one of these places, these social media. I'm all over social media. I also have a lot of videos in YouTube where you can go and see previous lectures there as well. And Kathy can put my email in the room there too. It's melissa at thestockswish.com. So today we're going to talk about you. You and your life, what you're doing with your job how much money you're making right now in your job and what you're doing with your time. Are you in charge of your time during the day or do you feel like you're a slave nine to five? You might be working a regular job, a salary job or type of commission job where you get up every day and you feel like your job is just a grind. 
Are you in charge of your finances or do your finances control you? Meaning you feel like you can never get ahead, that you're not in charge of what's going on in your financial situation, that you're constantly, constantly up against it. Who's in charge? You or the money. You are the one that has to be in charge. And what would it take for you to be in charge of your time and your finances? What would it take? Okay, what would it take for you to be in charge of your finances? What would it take for you to be in charge of your own time? And what kind of career can offer you financial freedom and personal freedom and a chance to be in charge of your day and your life? How much money do you need to make to have financial freedom? Again, this varies for many people. Usually it's around over six figures a year at the least, at the minimum. And what would it take for you to feel successful in your own life? How much money would that be? I think it's very important to be in touch with that, to know, to actually be able to state it. How much? How much would it take? Here, this is a closed off chat right now. Everybody answer me. How much money do you need to make to feel like you have financial freedom? You're right in there. It's totally secret. Nobody's going to see the answers but me. And I don't know anybody here. Write it. Tell me right now. This is for you. Do you know how much money you need to make a year that you feel like, oh, you know, I'm finally doing it. I'm getting ahead. No one's saying. Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea how much money they want to make a year. <laughs> is anybody there? <laughs> A million? You have to make a million? Steve. Okay, good answers. 150, 120. These are good answers. Steve must live in New York or LA. $100,000, that's perfect. Okay, so you got to know. There we go, 150. Very good, MJ. That's what you need to know. Be in touch with it. It's you. You, you yourself, you need to know exactly how much you want to make. And how much money that you feel like you're making that you're in the driver's seat, okay? Would $100,000 a year job put you in the driver's seat? Well, it's a good start, okay? It's a good start to feel like you're in the driver's seat of your own time and your own life and your own finances. And what kind of job do you have to do to make this? Well, it's trading. This is what I'm going to talk about. I mean, this is what I'm here today to talk to you about. It's trading. Trading the stock market. Trading the stock market can provide an income for you for 100000 or more. And, and honestly, and it's funny that Steve said a million dollars a year because if you're a good trader, the sky's the limit for you. The benefit of trading is that it's really not a full-time job. Trading is a part-time job. And it's one you can do from almost anywhere in the world and one you can do from home. However, many people attempt to trade the stock market unsuccessfully. If you've ever tried trading before and you're here today, you might be aware of this. Why do they falter? Can it be done? Is it realistic? Okay. And what do you need to do if you want to make it? Well, what method can you use to trade the market to make this kind of money? It's gaps. And gaps are a method. It's a methodology. It's a strategy that I use to trade the market. And they're lucrative. Because gaps offer momentum and volatility on the live trading day. And as a trainer, you make money on volatility. For example, if a stock was a dollar and you have a thousand shares, you can make a thousand dollars. If you short the stock at nine dollars and you have a thousand shares and it drops down to eight dollars, that's a dollar profit. That means you would have made a thousand dollars profit. And if the stock was $2 and you have 2,000 shares, for example, you make $4,000. As a trader, you only make money on stock movement. And to get the movement, you need to get the direction of the trade right and the pick correct to get the right stocks that move, okay? Because you're not going to make any money if the stock doesn't move. If it moves like a penny or two pennies, three pennies, five pennies, that's not going to be profitable for you as a trader. You want something that moves. So how are you going to find these stocks? How can you do this? And more importantly, what is a gap in the first place? What is a gap and why do they work? Well, here's the definition of a gap, okay? A gap is when a stock closes at one price today and opens at another price the next trading day. Now, I was just talking about Netflix. Netflix right now live tonight is gapping. It's gapping at a different price right now, 4.37, than it closed at 4 o'clock Eastern time. And again, if you stay after today, we're going to talk about Netflix. It's gap gapping. It's gapping up. Okay, it's when a stock closes at one price at four o'clock Eastern time when the market closes and it's opening at another price the next trading day, which would be in the morning tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. A gap is a break in price from one day to the next. Gaps work because they are a price event in the life of a stock and they are a demonstrative show of price that makes volatility. Gaps are created by institutions and institutions move the market. What do I mean by institutions, hedge funds, banks, large, large positioned traders. Therefore, you want to play on the side of institutional money positioning because they're the ones that move the market. They're the ones that make the market. They're the ones that are making the market go higher, okay? It's, it's, 
It's not traders, little tiny traders, not even a mass of them that can make the market move. If I had a thousand people in my live trading room and called a trade at a certain price and we all shorted it, we wouldn't make the stock move. It's institutions that make stocks move. Here's an example of a gap. Actually, this is BBBY here. I misspelled it. It's BBBY. Anyways, this closed up here the night before. This was back at the beginning of April, okay, somewhere around like 68 something. And it opened the next morning down here like around 63 something. So this is a gap. Now I'm going to show you here, right here. I'm going to show you here. This was the gap happening live. I clipped this when I was watching the gap happen live at night, okay? So this was happening, but you don't see this here. Let's go back. So here it is. It's closed, 4 o'clock. Then it opens the next day here at 9.30, but this is actually the gap happening live. And I clipped it to show you here to put it in the seminar. This is actually what was happening here. What is happening is BBBY is getting sold off and or shorted. Okay, it's really getting lots of selling in here that was making the stock gap down. And it did gap down. And it still today is holding this gap. This chart is lower. Okay, so this is a gap. And here you're seeing it live. Okay, which you wouldn't normally see if you looked up a chart right now. You wouldn't see this. I Pick, took a picture of this. You can see it live here. This is happening after hours. Okay, that's when gaps occur. So gaps are very, very useful. This is a chart of JCP. They're useful because we're going to talk about JCP today. You could have traded this for three, four, five days in a row. I mean, JCP is one of these charts you could get up every morning and look at JCP and decide if you want to trade it. I mean, literally, because it's such a nice chart. But it's useful because you can do a trade for a day trade. You could do JCP right here this day. Or you could get in JCP and carry it through into a day trade from a day to swing to core trade. You could still be in JCP short to get it down to a bigger target here now. Or you could have done it for three, four days into a swing trade. So it's useful in the methodology that you learn in gaps because you can swing trade them, day trade them, and core trade them. Some people don't have time to day trade and sit at the computer in the morning. But they could take a position, get in it as a swing trade, and then go back and look at it in a couple of days and see if it's at the target. That's something that people could do even if they have a job right now and they want to transition into becoming a trader. Or if they don't even want to become a trader, they just want to make extra money per year on top of their job, people can swing trade. So gaps are practical. They are practical. Why? Why do they work so well and pay so well? Why are they practical in the first place? Because, as I was saying earlier, they're created with large institutional money. That's what is making the gap, like you saw in the BBBY, like what's happening right now in Netflix. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap. And confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to read and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side, the side that you want to take the trade in, and then you play it. Gaps are an event and create a sense of urgency, which we do. We've got to do something. We have to do something right now. It's a sense of urgency that's happening when the gap is created. And an action, therefore, is being forced by participants of the stock. People that are already in that trade, they're in the stock, they have a position, they're in it, they're in it as a core trade. They have to do something now, it's gapping, what should they do? Are they up, are they down? They have to decide. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a practical way to trade because you're trading on the side of institutional power and that makes sense. It's common sense. I'm ever, ever amazed at people that want to trade this market, lose, lose money, and then say, oh, I don't understand why I lose, oh, this doesn't work, oh, you can't make any money trading. People do things that are absolutely no common sense. In fact, it's like negative common sense. If you want to train to be successful, then you got to do something that works, and it has to make sense. It has to make sense. It makes sense to trade gaps on the side of institutional money. It makes sense in the first place. Another reason that gaps are great is because they are consistent. Okay, They are consistent as a methodology to trade, meaning you get them almost every day. There are times in between earnings season where you may not get two or three, you may get two or three days a month where you don't get any good gaps that meet the criteria. But for the most part, if you look at the whole calendar year from January to December, you will get many, 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 many gaps. Okay, So it's a consistent strategy that exists in the market. You're not going to get up five days a week and not find things to do. And some strategies you may not have every day in the market. Gaps are also very profitable. They are profitable due to the risk to reward payout. For every dollar you risk in a gap trade, you should be looking for a target to make $3 per $1 risk, meaning if you risk a buck, you should be looking to make three bucks. 
okay? For dream targets, the risk to reward could be $5 to $10 per trade, which would mean five times the amount you risk. If you risk $100, you make $500. It's a dollar times the amount. That's how trading is. Day trading or trading the market is not the same as uh, a return on investment looking at percentages. A lot of people don't understand this. It's about risk to reward. I'm risking this dollar and my payout is going to be this dollar, okay? Which actually, if you do look at it as percentages, is really 300%. I hope everyone understands this. And if you don't, ask me. It's not about getting a percentage per year, okay? This isn't like a savings account or a money market account. Trading isn't the same thing. It makes sense to trade a strategy that will utilize and maximize your cash profits as much as possible, which gaps do. And this is due to the quality price entry and momentum moves involved, as I was talking about. So let's talk about this. Is making $100,000 a year realistic? And how much money do you need to risk to make this? Well, it is realistic because if you look at the whole of the market, there's billions of dollars that run through the market. And so to make $100,000 a year as one individual, you're just taking such a small, small piece of it. Okay, but in order to make this kind of money consistently, consistently, it, you will take an advanced risk. Now, I'm giving a range in here, a range of an advanced risk, which is three to $500, because not every day will you exactly make three risk units. Sometimes you will risk a dollar and make two and a half dollars. Sometimes you will risk a dollar and you will make four and a half dollars. It varies. But it's an advanced risk that you would need to take. Now, I suggest starting at a beginner level of $50 to $75 per trade, then an intermediate level, $100 to $200, and then move up the advanced risk after you prove that you're profitable and know the system in each level. And there's no time amount that you have to stay in this level. There isn't any rule. Everyone is different. Some people pick up what I teach them so quickly. Okay, some people take longer. So I don't know where you're at with your knowledge. If you're brand, brand new, sometimes I teach people that are brand, brand new, and they do great because they have no baggage from their past about ever trading or losing money in the market. And then there's some people, you know, that take a little bit longer. So it's up to you, but there isn't any time amount. You'll know. I suggest increasing your risk by $50 to $100 increments each time you do. If you don't jump from, like, risking 100 bucks to all of a sudden risking 400 That would be not make any sense, okay? You chunk it out, upping it a little bit each time as you're progressing and doing well. So a lot of times I can ask this question about how much buying power do the trades take, for example. Well, the leverage that you receive from a broker is the amount of buying power you have available to you to place your trades. Most gap trades will have stocks in the $5 and $75 price range. I mean, some of them have been at $3 and have had good moves. Occasionally, there will be a $100 price stock that gaps. That is good, meaning a good gap that we'd want to trade. Most of the stocks are in the medium range of $20 to $35, bucks, and, and they have great moves of $1 to $3 or more. So this is a good range that's not too expensive, not too pricey, and with a reasonable size account, you could take good positions in this medium range to $20 to $35. So for example, a $35, if the strike price of the stock is $35, okay? If you want to take 2,000 shares, that would mean you would need $75,000 in buying power to take the trade in order to just get in it, okay? This is not $75,000 cash, it's $75,000 in buying power. Now, what is buying power? That is the amount of power that you have to purchase the stock or short the stock, okay, from the broker that the broker gives you, and it's based on your cash level position. Buying power varies, so you have to determine where you want to be at with this. But my point is that if you're looking to train GAP successfully, you can do this and take 2,000 shares of a $35 stock price point and all you need is 75,000 in buying power and that's really not that much. A $20 stock price, you want to take 4,000 shares and 4,000 shares is an advanced position size to take. You need only 80,000 in buying power to take the trade. Again, that's very, very reasonable. It's not like you need a million dollars buying power to take these positions. You don't, okay? A regular person can do it. $5 strike price, if you take 8,000 shares and 8,000 shares in an advanced position, advanced, you'd only need 40,000 in buying power to take the trade, okay? So, again, this is very reasonable because gaps happen in a ra wide range of stock prices. And I also suggest that no one should be taking trades no matter what they're doing in a high price stock point over $100 if they aren't an advanced trader, meaning they've been trading for years and really are familiar with the stock. 
So for gas, there's lots of gaps that move in a very good, not so expensive price point, but you can take good sized positions if you are willing to risk three to $500 a trade and take it to make this kind of money. Now, also, I get this question about trades per week and per month. Well, in, during earnings season, during earnings season, there are gaps every day. Okay, there's going to be gaps every day in earnings season. It's earnings season right now. And you can have as many as five good ones a day during earnings season because sometimes there's 30, 50 gaps every morning and night or more even. This would mean looking at 25 or more a week. Now, it's my personal preference. I'd like to do one at a time. Two at the most. This is my personal preference. This isn't something that I necessarily teach people. But I think if you're risking an advanced amount, you should focus on one stock symbol a day. Two at the most, okay? I found that when people are successful, the less is more kind of thing in reference to accuracy and focusing on what they're doing. If you're in 10 different stock symbols or five on, at, at any given day, the chances of you having a highly lucrative day are slim odds. The highest, best, most profitable days you'll ever have is when you get one thing that works amazingly well, okay? And you may take two trades in it. In non-earning season, some days you may not get any qualified gaps, like I was saying earlier, and then maybe two or three days a month you won't do anything. But this is normal, and if you're disciplined, that's the right thing to do. So what system teaches you how to train gaps? Well, I developed a system that I call the Golden Gap. It's a 26-point rating system I use to pick which gap or stock symbol I will train each day. I, I developed the system myself to pinpoint directional bias. It accurately reads the price action of institutional money positioning stocks, which, as I was saying earlier, is one of the very practical reasons to trade gaps. I developed a system for myself to find a way to accurately read how to trade gaps because I realized that there was so much out there about gaps that was inaccurate. I trade the system myself and it is all that I trade. I have a high level of conviction in gaps and I've been trading them for over five years. Now, five years may seem like a long time, but in the life of a trader and in the life of any human being, it's a sneeze, okay? I am an expert in what I do and I've only been doing this for five years, but it's all that I do. And I suggest that if you want to make money in the market, you become an expert in something if you want to be successful. I mean, I have people, some person emailed me yesterday, they've been trading for 12 years and, and they're not successful. Some people have been trying to trade the market successfully for 10 years or more. So five years is a sneeze. I've really got something here, okay? Gaps are very misunderstood by most traders and teachers. They teach the wrong thing to do. I actually teach how to trade gaps in the incorrect manner. So think about what I'm saying here. Interestingly enough, gaps are actually the highest level of a full understanding of price that exists in a chart. And this is why I'm able to predict stock movements before they happen, targets in advance, way in advance, and including the moves of the market. I've been calling the market very well. And I called Netflix tonight. So, you know, how am I able to do this? Because of a high level understanding of reading price. And how did I become good at reading price? Because I am good at reading gaps. So the benefit of trading gaps is not only making money trading the gap itself and the strategy as a day trade, but also as a swing or core trade and understanding price and how price reacts to things and what to do with it, whether to take a position off, whether to take a position on, whether to do nothing at all. A lot of people don't understand why you're not, shouldn't do anything at all. And there's days to, to do nothing. How long will it take you to learn the system? If you want to learn it, if you want to learn my system, you say, yes, I want to do it. It's up to you. If you are committed and you want to do it, I love when I meet with someone that's totally passionate about trading, takes my class, and is committed. I had a gentleman that called me the other day. I haven't had time to call him back. He did the class. He's trading by himself. And he uh, took his first trade and did very well, and he's totally excited. So, you know, it's one of these things where I, I don't know how long it's going to take you to learn it, but I'm here to help you learn it. And if you need help, I will answer your questions for you. You can call me. You can email me. I'm not a stranger to people that generally want to learn. I want to help people to be successful. Learning something that is practical and effective is important in a trading system. So what is a Golden Gap system and how do you use it? Well, the Golden Gap system is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. I predicted Netflix, which is a bullish gap, because I know how to read bullish gaps, 
just as well as bearish gaps. So what does that mean? It means if you learn the rating system, you can flip the points to do bullish gaps as well. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. I go through the checklist every morning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I go through it every morning. I look at 26 points. The golden gap system works because it looks at a larger time frame on the daily chart of a stock to analyze the directional bias on a larger time frame. But I'm trading the stock on a smaller time frame. The quality and high success rate and the risk to reward comes from choosing the right stock to trade and getting the entry. Correct. Getting the directional bias comes from the 26 point rating system that I'm taking the entry on a smaller time frame on the one minute chart, which I'm going to show you some trades here in a moment. Using a 26 point checklist to trade helps you define what you're going to do before the market even opens. Otherwise, you're sitting there at 930 scanning, looking for stuff to do. And by the time you figure out what you want to do, it's 10 o'clock and you haven't even placed your first trade and the stock probably has gone 30% to the target, whereas I'm already probably out of a piece of my trade by 10 o'clock or the whole thing because I determine before the market opens exactly what I want to watch in the day through the rating system, which directs me which stock to watch and I take the trade. So the rating system tells me what to do and I get the setup into the open and then that's the confirmation of the move. So the philosophy behind the rating system is to get a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Many of these stocks move the entire day. Big moves in the day, again, you want volatility, momentum to make money as a trader. Early confirmation of the bias, meaning a set up in the first 30 minutes of the day and precise entries with follow through and a good risk reward. Like I was talking about earlier, you want to be able to risk a dollar to make a minimum of three. Some days you'll make two, some days you'll make four. It should average out to be three. And some months you'll have extremely good months. Will you average more than three? Why? Because maybe you had earning season. You had a ton of gaps. You also had a high level of conviction they would go to their dream targets, and they did. Okay? So there are months where you will definitely make more. Let's examine some trades and how the money can really add up for you in gaps. Now let's look at JCP. This is day one JCP. First of all, I knew JCP was going to gap down even after it gapped up. Now, JCP gapped up. It gapped up. This is a gap up. It closed here at around 5 something, gapped up to 750 or whatever. This was back at the end of February. Gapped up again. Had a second gap up. This is the beginning of March. But I knew JCP would gap down. One of these days, and I kept watching and watching and watching it. And actually, there were some people in the room that were really scalping this and watching it and really on this thing every day. And it finally did gap down here, okay, this is in April, this is April 11th. So this is day one JCP, here it is, there's the gap. If you wanted to trade day JCP, this is a one minute chart, this is the first day that it gapped here on April 11th, you could have traded this stock this day, and you've been watching it for the last two months or whatever, last six weeks, waiting for it to gap, and then it did. Where's the entry time? Entry was a 9.50, price was 8.04, stop over 8.11. This is a 7 cents risk, okay? Look at the risk in this. On 8,000 shares, it's $560. Exit 7.62, this isn't some massive move either, okay? This is JCP, it didn't move a dollar in this day. It can, it could, it could have, it didn't. But this is a very nice trade with a high quality entry and good risk to reward. This is a 6R trade, why? Because of the entry price and to put the stop at the right place. Here's the entry on this, right there. You short it and you take it on down and the exit's here. So the whole trade is done literally in 40 minutes. And if you take an advance risk, okay, of $560, you could have made over three grand. Now, this is JCP day one. Now you're still watching JCP. Why? Because JCP did not get to the target this day. Good trade, excellent trade. Good exit, didn't get to the target, you're watching it, you're stalking it, you like it, you watch it the next day, JCP day two. JCP day two had a beautiful short in a day two. And actually, this, this was a really good call because it didn't even, actually, this did not even gap. I just saw this entry here on this day here. This is just, again, reading price here that I got this short on this day. This is on the 14th JCP. Um, I squished this together here so you can see the whole move of this stock. This is a one-minute chart, okay? JCP up and fell out of the sky. Read the price action here, decided it was going to work that day, and shorted it. Short here in JCP is here, 
and I actually gave this a big stop all the way up here in the day of it. I gave it a cushion and it fell off the planet. Now this is what I call a continuation gap really because it didn't really gap the day of the gap but it worked and continued. What are we looking for? We're looking for continuation to the target. Now good eggs on the JCP this day but still didn't get to the target. Target was seven dollars in JCP. So if you trade a JCP day two, entry was 941, price was 784 to enter the stock, stock was over 795. So again, here we are, JCP. If the price of the stock is $7.84 and you want to take 5,000 shares, how much buying power do you need? How much buying power do you need? Anybody? Anybody know this? Here, I'm quizzing you now. This is simple arithmetic, but you got to know this to be able to know if you can afford to do this. Does anybody know? Anybody want to guess? Anyone alive? Is already watching Netflix? How much? If the stock price, the strike price is seven eighty four. You want to take five thousand shares. How much do you need buying power? All right, I'm going to tell you since nobody's answering. Thirty nine thousand two hundred dollars, approximately. Okay, depending on where you get filled, that's how much you'd need, not in cash, but in buying power. Okay, which is really not that much. It's less than forty thousand. Exit 755, total profit 1450. Nice little trade, 2.6 R's, good trade, okay, on a day that it, once again, didn't go to the target, but you're watching it, watching it, watching it, and now we have day three. Day three, JCPenney finally gets going and gets down to the target. This is on April 15th, and this was a nice move here in JCP day three, okay? You can see here where the stock fell off the planet into the open, tried to rally, made an attempt, couldn't do it, dropped, tried to rally again. Here's the short in JCP, and I showed you the whole move all the way down here. It got within four cents of the target. It went to 704. This is day three, three days in a row you're trading JCP. Entry time is 9.52. Price you're shorting is 7.50. Stop is over 7.58. Again, eight cents. 7,000 shares if you're risking 560 bucks. Now this piecemealed out of the exit, and you could do this actually with any of the trades. You could get the stock, get in the move, get it drop down, take a little bit out, let it rally back, lower the stock, let it drop down, take a little bit out. You can do whatever you want to do. Total profit on this is 26.10. Again, a nice, nice day. All of these days are comma days where there's a comma in your P&L. Risk rewards 5.4, okay? Really nice trade. So what's the moral of the story here? In just three days, in just one stock symbol and just JCP, okay, what kind of money could you have made if you took an advanced risk? And now I'm using $550 here. I said it could be from three to five, but the JCP risk on day one is $550. JCP profit, $3360. JCP risk day two, $550. Profit, $1450. Day three, $560. Profit 2610. This isn't even holding the whole position down. Total risk, total amount of money in three days that you're risking the stock actually is $1,660. Now, again, this is advanced, but the total profit is $7,420. So the risk reward here is actually more than three if you took all three days of trades properly. And not only that, this is $7,420 in one stock in three days in a month's time. There's 20 trading days in a month. This is only three days and only one symbol. A hundred grand a year is approximately $8,500 a month. So if you traded JCP for three days and risked uh, an advance risk, you could have almost made your goal in a month in three days to get to that level of 100K a year. And you may not trade the rest of the month if you want to go on a vacation. Or you can, because there's 20 trading days in a month, and this is only three. So you see that this is very, very, very realistic. Okay, this is realistic. We're not talking about crazy numbers. So somebody sent an email to me. I'm on all these email lists about making a hundred thousand dollars. I don't know what it was. It was a hundred thousand dollars a day, or a hundred thousand dollars a week, or a hundred thousand dollars a month. I, I don't, I don't know what it was. It was some crazy number. That again is possible. Of course, you can make you can make as much money as you want as a trader, but it was a crazy number to make as one individual in the market. I don't even remember what the person was doing. I, I don't remember what it was, but it was something that was crazy. Okay, as one person to make trading gaps and the amount of money that you need to trade gaps and the amount of money that you need to risk is not crazy. Okay, 
your car payment is probably $500 a month. Your car payment might be more than that if you actually own it. If you have a lease, it's probably $500. Some leases now are like $650. I mean, they're crazy. So, I mean, the amount of money that you would risk on a trade, trading gaps, and the amount you would make is perfectly reasonable, okay? And it makes sense to do it. It's practical. Another profitable and practical use for the golden gap is swinging core trades. And I was talking about this earlier. Uh, it's one of these things where you can use multiple time frames to take the positions. There are very few strategies, if any, that you can use to trade in multiple time frames. The golden gap strategy is so specific on the analysis of the directional move that you can trade the gaps for swinger core trades. JCP is one example we're going to talk about in a minute. This is another reason why the golden gap system is so unique and special. Because when you rate the gap, if the gap rates and meets, according to the system, meets the rating qualifications, you can trade it as a day swinger core trade. And BBBY is another one that I showed you earlier, too. You could be in BBBY as a swing trade or core trade. Someone in the room is in that. The rating analysis would be the same, and the entries would be the same. Only your money management would be different from day trading due to sizing and looking for larger targets, meaning you will not get the same buying power leverage in overnights as you do day trading. So your money management will be different, meaning you will take a smaller position size. Let's look at JCP, the swing trade. So if you did JCP and you took the day trade here and you actually kept some of it and said, I am going to do this also, and I'm going to hold this as a swing trade too, down to the target of seven bucks. Well, if you did that, you took the trade and you actually kept a thousand shares in the position and you let it ride. And then you got out of it when? On the third day, you got out of the actual swing trade because it got within four cents of the target. You risked only 70 bucks on this swing trade. Okay. You made a thousand dollars. Entry's the same. The entry you took the day, the day of the gap. The risk reward in this is 14 Rs. That is unbelievable for a swing trade, for a swing trade, because you're taking the day trade entry in the gap, and then you have a bigger target, because you always have bigger targets in swing trades. Okay, You are looking for bigger targets on the daily chart when you're doing a swing trade. This could have gotten there on the day of the first day. It was one of the targets we were looking for for the first day. Did not. It took three days. But still a very nice swing trade here. Again, this is for people that don't have time to sit at their desk every morning. Uh, for an hour or half an hour, the people that want to actually just do swing and core trading. Sooner has no sound, Kathy. Can you check that, please? Can everybody hear me? Here, let me write this in. One person said they had no sound. I hope I'm not talking to myself here. <laughs> Can you hear me or not? Hello? Henry said yes. Okay. All right, thanks, Henry. Very good, excellent, okay. Well, Sooner can look at the pictures. Nice picture, Sooner. You'll love my pictures. Look at this little girl here. She has great glasses. It's time to get real about your trading girl, uh, goals. Are you serious or are you a looky-loo? This little girl here is a looky-loo. She's really not, going, not interested in trading. I mean, she's looky-looing around and she's just having fun, checking out charts. She's really not serious about trading whatsoever. Maybe in the next 10 years she will be, maybe 15. She's not serious right now. She's a looky-loo. And I meet a lot of looky-loos. If you're a looky-loo, I think you're better off spending your time going to the gym, okay? Trading is a serious business. It's time to get real about doing it. If you're actually in the market and risking money and you're a looky-loo, that's the worst because you're doing something that's serious and risking money, which is serious, and you're not taking it seriously, okay? You're better off, like I said, just going to the gym and working out. It's one of these things, trading, that you've got to take it seriously. It doesn't mean you have to devote the rest of your life or a year of your life. It means that if you're going to do it, you need to do the proper course of action, which is learn how to do it, take it easy with the risk until you understand how to do it, and learn it right, and get serious about what goals you have in mind. And that's why I ask everyone at the beginning, know your goals, know how much money you want to make and know how you're going to get there. And if you don't have a plan of action to get there, then you need one. If you're just saying, oh, I'm going to risk this much, you know, no, you need to know exactly how much you're going to risk and exactly how you're going to get there and exactly how long it should take you to get there too. It's time to get real. This means learning, 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 learning. Okay. Learning how to train means you're going to be successful because you are more focused on the knowledge of what to do than the money. It's like one of these caveats about trading and being successful in the market. If you are more focused on getting it down right and learning what to do, then the money in the live moment, 
you will actually make more money in the long haul, okay? Just take my word for it. At the time that I started trading, I was so focused on the money, and it took me longer than it probably would have if I would have focused on the charts and what I was supposed to be doing in the price of these gaps and the stocks before I had realized that, oh, I should be focusing actually on this instead of the money. And I got around it. I finally realized, wait a minute, you know, this, this, I has, this is going to take me time to figure this out, and that's what I did. So I learned from the benefit of my experience that you have to learn actually what to do before you trade. And I tell people they can practice on a demo before they even take live trades. But there's something about trading live when you make that money, you make that profit that helps your level of conviction and gets you excited to do it. So the Golden Gap Strategy can help you achieve your financial trading goals, whether you want to day trade, swing trade, or cord trade them. And me personally, I like to day trade. I think it's exciting. I love having the money right there. But $100,000 a year is a real goal that's achievable in trading Golden Gaps. Again, it's approximately $8,500 a month. Now, how can you get, like, here, I'm backing it out for you. Here, I'm giving you a plan. Here's an idea, okay? Here's an idea if you want to do this. Here's several ideas, actually. Four trains with a $500 risk unit making four R's. Here's one way to do it, okay? It's a little bit more than three. It's four. Could you get four four-hour trains in a month and 20 days? Absolutely, okay? So here's one way to make it. That's $2,000 times four trains, that's eight grand. There's one way you could make it. Another way is you could say, wait a minute, I'm going to just make three R's, risk 500 bucks, okay? I'm going to do this. I'm going to take six good quality trades a month, okay? Actually, this is 1500 not 15000 <laughs> 15000 something in my head. <laughs> $1,500 in profit in three trades is $9,000 a month. My head is all over the place with these kind of big numbers. Forgive me. Anyways, it's three times 500 is 1,500. 1,500 times six is 9,000 a month. There are 20 trading days in a month. Again, this leaves more than half the month left to trade profitably and stay steady. So if you take six trades, making three R's, six trades, that's what you mean, six trades. Some days there's more than one trade. Six trades with three R's. Okay, that's $1,500, that's six $1,500 trades. One, two, three, four, five, six. $1,500 a pop on each one is nine grand a month. All you have to do is just not screw up the rest of the month, okay? That's not even half the month. It's 20 trading days. All you have to do is just not lose. Of course, there's many opportunities to make money, but I mean, that would make your goal. Your goal for the month could be in in the first week and a half. Here's another idea. Okay, this is ideas to get you to your goal to show you how realistic it is. These aren't crazy numbers either, people. Ten trades with a $300 risk unit, making three risk units per trade can get you there. Okay, 300 times three is $900. Okay, ten $900 trades is what? $9,000 a month. There are 20 trading days in a month. Again, this isn't even ten trading days would get you there, three hours, $300 risk, that still leaves half the month for you to just stay steady. That means you could literally break even the rest of the month, lose five days, make money five days, lose one hour, make one hour for 10 other days, and still make $9,000 a month, okay? It's one of these things where it's just, it's just these aren't unrealistic goals. Lee, I'll answer that question at the end, or you know what? If we have time, if we don't have time, then email me, Lee. So uh, the point I'm trying to make here is you, these are not unrealistic goals. These are just not unrealistic goals. These are very, very, very realistic, achievable goals. Part of it is in your mind, okay? You have to get real and do it. If you think that making $100,000 a year in the market as a day trader is unrealistic, you won't make it. If you think it's realistic, which I'm showing you the numbers that it is, okay, you will make it, okay? If you think you can't do it, you won't. If you believe that you will, you're halfway there, and then you learn something good, which I do in gaps, and you can make it. 
So you've got to get real. You've got to get real. You've got to do it. Making $100,000 a month is very realistic training gaps if you're getting quality entry and a good pick. The entries you learn in the Golden Gap course teach you the accuracy and reading price to take this setup. And the rating system teaches you how to pick the quality stocks to get the ones that will move correctly. You learn both the entries in the rating system in the Golden Gap course. You don't have to make some unrealistic R number every day to make $100,000 a year. You don't have to make 10 R's a day. You chunk it out in a few good trades and you keep your losses to a minimum and that's part of it too. You don't even have to train every day. You don't have to train when there are no good gaps and meet the criteria. And you should you shouldn't. You just you shouldn't. You should follow the system. You can take some days off. You don't even need to hold everything to dream targets. Although you can have even bigger days if you do this. If you're willing to follow the system and have good money management, you can achieve realistic goals. And you don't have to get nuts or crazy having 10 hour days. Although some days you will with an amazing gap. $300 a month or $500 a month is a car payment. As I was saying earlier, and when you invest and purchase in a car, your return on investment depreciates over time. It's like the second you drive it off the lot. When you invest in a trade, a good quality, highly rated gap trade, okay, if you take it, your investment can pay off a good rate of return immediately on that day. Your investment pays off. And some people spend more than this on a night out. Okay, more than 300 bucks a night out. I don't know what slide you're talking about, Nero. I don't know which one. What was the topic? I can go back to it. Let me know. Plop it in the room there. I'll see it. I want to talk about the next uh, trade example here, which is BKS. Another one, actually, you could have traded many times. I'm going to talk about two trading days in this, but you could have traded this three days just as JCP. Okay, so here's the first day in BKS. Again, here we are in the month of April. All of these are April. These are current. BKS had a beautiful setup in here. This is a one-minute chart. Okay, here we go again. This is a one-minute chart. You take the entry in here. You could have piecemealed out of this or held this to the target as well. And this you would have been in longer. A morning trade that lasted into the afternoon, but a very large move in BKS. Entry time, 940. Price, 2010. Stock was over 20, 30, so this is a 20 cent risk. Again, an advanced risk would be $500 risk would be 2,500 shares. Exits, 1861. Total profit, 3725. Very nice. Risk to reward is a seven R trade because, again, some days you will hold things to dream targets. You will make more than three R's. Here's a day where you made it would have made double what your profit was. Now, here's day two in BKS. Actually, this is really day three. I didn't show this example in here, but you could have played BKS here, here, and here. Okay? But I'm just showing you two examples in this. Here was another day that it gapped. This is April 17th, just last Thursday. Here's the play in this one, too. Beautiful, nice move. Again, took a little bit longer from the morning entry, came down, but still out of the trade by around the lunchtime. Entry time was 940. Price was 1746. A little bit bigger of a stop but still had a dollar move. Okay, this is still a three plus R trade. The stop was 31 cents, so on a $500 sum risk, it's 558. 1,800 shares would have been how much you would have taken for this, and you would have made $1,900. Nero is having problems. Kathy, he can't see the chart he's saying. He doesn't see the charts. Does everyone else see my charts? Let me go back. Nero, you don't see this? The entry here for BKS is here. Stop is over here. And here's the move in it. You were never down from the time that you took it. Kathy, can you help? Nero, he doesn't see the charts. So what's the total BKS profit? We looked at the JCP for three days BKS. There were three days in BKS too, just in the last two weeks. But if you did two days, day one risk was 500, day one profit. 37.25, day two risk 5.58, day two profit 19.08, total risk 10.58. Now again, this is a thousand dollars plus, but the total profit in two days, if you played this both days correctly, would have been five thousand six hundred thirty-three dollars, and you could have played it three. Total risk reward 5.8. Let's go back to the chart. So you could have actually played this one, two, three. If you just played the two days and risked a five hundred dollar advance risk. You would have made over $5,000. Okay? Now, let's look at this. Two stocks in one month, golden gaps. Somebody emailed me yesterday and called me the money swoosh. I said, I'm going to use that because this is actually a great, great thing to call what I do and what I'm teaching people. JCP, you could have made 7420 
This is just April. This is this is April. BKS, 56.33. That's only playing it two days. In five days of playing two stock symbols that were excellent gaps, you could have made $13,000 plus. The risk per trade was around 550-ish, which is an advanced risk. Okay? Buying power needed. The buying power was no more than $65,000 on any given trade. In these ones I'm showing you here. That's it. That's it. That was it. You could have made $13,000 risking $500 some dollars. You wouldn't have needed buying power more than $65,000. That's not cash. That's the buying power that the broker gives you. And you have to check with the broker about how much money you have to put up for that. But this, do you see that this is 100% realistic? You don't need a million dollars buying power. You don't even need 250000 in buying power to make this kind of money. It's the entry. It's the quality of the gap. It's putting the stop in at the right place and taking the size. There are 20 trading days in a month. That leaves 15 days left in the month to make money or go to the gym. Do nothing. Could you live on $13,000 a month? Could you? For working five days? Five days. That's like less than part-time. I have to come up with a new word for that. I have to come up for a new word for that. It's less than part-time. <laughs> it's like... Have a vacation job. It is so important to have big days as a trader. This comes from accuracy, solid strategy, and momentum. It's important. It's important to have big days as a trader. And, and people that are losing don't. Okay? So what happens is people are losing. They want a big day so badly. And then what do they do? They do stupid stuff. They do more stupid stuff. They do greater, greater things that they shouldn't have even done. They take more size in a bad trade. Just out of desperation, thinking the gap's going to fill itself or the stock's going to run $3 in the opposite direction, uh, looking for all kinds of things that don't work because they're desperate for a big day. And, and I'm telling you, big days are important, but you're only going to have them if you're doing the right thing. Why are big profit days important? Big profit days are important because they make a huge difference in your P&L at the end of every month. Big days will pay for the days you lose. Big days can make your whole month. Big days can really add up if you just have two or three tr good trades a month, two or three good gaps. Um, they can make your entire month. I just showed you. Okay. They also can help your confidence level and keep you excited about passion about trading. Big days give you conviction. Big days keep you going. You, you got to have them. Steve, what do you mean the capital gains? This is a day trader. That's a whole other topic that's more tax related. I don't, I don't want to get off course for that. You can email me for that. That's more a, that's a tax related question. I don't, I don't want to veer off course. I'll be talked for an hour about that. And I'm also not a, a licensed tax person to even answer that correctly. So where do you see yourself in a year? Relying on yourself and no one else. When you get to a point where you want to rely on yourself, it's a point of realization. Woo! You get a light bulb that your life is your own creation. Yes, yes it is. You, you, you and you alone are the one in charge of your own life. You and only you. When you start to acknowledge your own personal power and your ability for personal growth and to learn something new and to make more money, you will be amazed at how things come together and how much your life can change for the better. How's that going to happen? You, you and only you. You're the only one that's going to make your life better. No one else. No one else but you. Even when you meet me, Okay, and I have people that say I've made their life better by teaching them how to make money in the market. It's they were, they found me. They, they still get the credit for finding me, for believing in me, for believing in me to pay me money to teach them how to trade and take the class. Anyone that comes to me gets credit for believing in me without knowing anything, without having any guarantees at all, without knowing me at all, except for talking to me and watching my webinars. The people that come to me that profit and make money are successful still get their credit because they found me and believed in me. And, and it's worth it. And they see that. So it's still on you. It's on you. Sometimes it's just about opening up our eyes and seeing the possibilities for our own life. The only question is, will you do what you can now to make your life better? Will you or will you wait as time ticks on? Either way, the future is yours to create and you have to understand that and you have to believe that and you have to know that. You're the one that's pressing the buttons. I'm here I'm here teaching you a vehicle. I'm a vehicle to your future in the market if you want to be successful and if you want to learn. So taking the Golden Gap course is the first step. You've got to have a plan of action. Yes, there, Kathy just put the plan of action. Okay. 
Make a plan of action for yourself as to how you are going to achieve your financial goal of making $100,000 a year. Start now and do not delay. Work back from a time frame for yourself that you desire and feel comfortable with to achieve this goal. Do you want to be making this kind of money in three months, in six months, a year? Start right now today to formulate a plan so that you can move forward to your goal of financial freedom. The longer you wait to learn the system, the longer it will be for you to achieve your goal. Taking the Golden Gap course and learning how to trade gaps is the first step. So you've got to learn how to make money trading. And if you are trading the market now and you are risking money but you're really a looky-loo because you're not doing it seriously, then maybe you should just take a week off and just think, okay? Learn how to read charts in the Golden Gap course. I predicted this movement in JCP. I predicted it in Netflix, which we're going to talk about here if we have some time. And I'm just bullet point here in my class, which is the Golden Gap course. If you're interested in signing up for the class, email me at melissa at Uh Capital, there's actually a tax webinar that my father, who's a CPA, did. It's on my YouTube if you want to go find it on there. CC and MJ, you're asking about the, the capital gains. And my father, you can email him. His email's on that uh, webinar and ask him directly. But he talked about a lot of those things in the webinar I did about a month ago. So the Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day to get good risk-to-reward trades, which is important. The course teaches price analysis, and it's technical analysis. That's what I do. That's how I'm making the decision in the gaps on an advanced level. And even if you don't know how to read charts on an advanced level, then I'll teach you. Okay, MJ, that's, I'm sorry. I'm seeing a lot of things writing here. I'm kind of behind the questions. <laughs> okay. The course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in the right direction. And the course teaches you to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you can make money in the market as a trader because that's what you want to do. And so it's all using the checklist. This is the reason that I'm successful picking gaps and taking trades in gaps. So empower yourself today. I cannot tell you how important it is for you to believe in yourself to do it. I can't make you believe in yourself, but I can tell you that you need to. You need to. And I can help get you conviction in the, in, in, in the gap strategy and the very essence of making money in the market is something that's realistic, okay? It's time to get serious about your training and your success. Otherwise, you're a lucky loo. The Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade for day trading, swing trading, or core trading. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The retakes are free. As soon as you sign up for the first time, you can retake it as many times as you need to for free after the fact, as long as you sign up for it once. Classes online, I encourage people as much as they want to learn, to learn. So I don't mind when people redo the class. The class is this coming weekend, April 26th and 27th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $2,499. Email me if you're interested at melissa at the stockswish.com. I'm also doing another class at the end of this month, which is a trends course, April 30th from 12 to 4 and May 1st from 12 to 4. It's split up. This class is $9.99. It's a course on how to read trends and stock charts, and I'm doing a special. I did this last month. It was very popular. It's $29.99 for both classes. You're actually saving almost $500, and you get both the Golden Gap course and the trends class for one price. It's a combo class special. Do both the classes, learn how to trade the gaps, learn how to read overall larger term trends if you're interested in swing or core trading. The trends class is a great class for that. And the Golden Gap class teaches you the rating system, how to do the entries, pick the targets, and everything. Let me just get through the rest of this and I promise I'll answer all the questions. Spring trading is fantastic because it's earnings season. I was just talking about the fact it's earnings season. Right now, tonight, there's like 35 reports that just came out. Okay, right now. And tomorrow morning, there'll be like another 30-something. So this is a reason that spring trading is so great. Okay, it's second quarter earnings season. It's running for the next month and a half, two months, and it's a great time to trade. Okay, all right. Any questions here? Let me just answer some questions. And I'm actually going to take this off here so I can quick bring up Netflix while I'm answering the questions. Uh, let me just go back. Uh, no, the class is not recorded.